Hello! I haven't seen you for ages. I mean, I haven't done videos for three months, I guess, and the reason for this is because I was getting pissed about the quality of my camera and I was just thinking there's no way I, w I will continue doing videos because they have such bad quality and there's no way anybody would even consider watching them. Uh, but oh well, I love doing this and I just decided to come back and try again with the same shitty quality but who cares. Uh, I have friends that tells me that it always happens in the beginning, you never have enough quality or enough money to start doing this kind of stuff. So yeah, I will, I will continue doing this and again I will have as my first video in a while, loads of books to show you, loads of books, yeah, I have, I don't, I, I don't even know how many I have here, but they are quite a, a lot, and these are probably books for, from last month and this month, that I've collected, and I'm here to show it to you guys. I'm so excited because I love all of them and I hope you have some recommendations for me to read and to buy more books because there's never enough. There's always more space for books although that is completely filled with them and uh, well there's already books in the floor but I can always find space and yeah let's do this. Uh, I have I have books to show you so let me show it. Hopefully I don't have too much light on me. I'm feeling the heat, but I can I can live with it and I guess you can too. So but let's start let's start doing this. So I have and this is not in order, okay? They're all random. Uh first of all, here we have you cannot see what it is, but probably if I show you this you can. This is the Testament by Margaret Atwood and no, I haven't read the first book. I will, probably, or watch the TV show and then I will start reading this. Uh, the reason for me to buy this book is because it was super cheap and <laughs> since it was the winner of last year, I guess I will give it a chance and read it after after started reading the first one or the TV show. Hopefully I can just watch the TV show if that's possible. Maybe you guys know if I can. If I not, just let me know so I don't do a mistake and then regret it. This was for two pounds at a charity shop and it's, well, two pounds for this. It doesn't have the dust jacket though, but I can live with it, I guess. And in the same day, I was looking for this book the Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell and I found it. The reason for me to really want this book was because Lala from uh, Books of Lala, um, she recommended it. Was it Lala? Maybe not. No. Okay, no. The reason for me to want to read this was because a friend of mine recommended it. Like. A lot <laughs> and because he said it was amazing I decided to pick it up and read it I'm not sure if Lala read this I think I think she did well I'm watching too many uh, different people and uh, hearing too many different recommendations from different people so uh, next one the Outrun this one I've seen it many times at Waterstones and I, I was simply well, really interested in it because he, he won a prize and it is a non-fiction novel, um, it is a memoir, I believe, and I really like these kind of stories. This one I think is about a woman that really, really bad things happened to her. I think she lost someone, I'm not sure right now, and uh, she decided to just uh, go to the wild and discover these new places like the natural uh, landscapes and also swimming in in rivers or pools or whatever. Uh, uh, she just talks about her experience doing this kind of wild stuff or pretty different stuff. Uh, if I'm not if I, if I'm wrong, 
tell me, probably I am. But I've read I've read the synopsis when I bought it, and I I just I was really interested. And again, it was one pound, so why not? Next, you might know this one, Brave New World. This one is super famous. Uh, it is often compared to uh, uh, 1894. Oh, since they, they, they got 1984. <laughs> I was thinking in Portuguese and it came completely on the wrong side. Yeah, it's 1984. Uh, people compare it to it because I think it's also a dystopia about uh, a future that actually happened. I don't know much about it, but it is like a contemporary classic. And well, I gave this to my boyfriend actually, but I think I'm going to read it. So these, the night you left, this was in a random uh, day when we just finished university and I went with some friends to one of my favourite shops at Notting Hill and this one was there and it is a proof copy but it came out already in uh, 2019 and it is it is a domestic thriller and I just got interested because of that and it was 50p so good stuff next one Dune Dune is a really really well known book people talk about this a lot especially in those booktubes booktube channels that talk about fiction and uh, sci-fi fantasy and this was this book is normally there as a recommendation as like the the big one the book that you should read <laughs> it is it is it the book i should read i gave this to my boyfriend as well hoping he would read it but uh, the guy at the counter he told me the guy in the shop he told me uh uh just to warn you you should read the last pages of this book because there's so many characters in it and you might get lost so I would recommend you to look at it and I was like okay I'm getting scared already but it might be good because the guy actually read it and said it was really good so yeah the dune the woman in the window so I actually really love this edition it's an American edition I found at a charity shop it was for one pound and I was so happy to find it. Most people that I know and that I've seen on YouTube talking about this, they say it's not a really good book, uh, but for some reason I'm still interested in reading it. I'm still interested in, in picking it up and uh, give it a chance. The cover is beautiful, I really like this. And it is the floppy pages that I love and it has like these broken pages uh, that I don't know the name of. <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I'm super curious, of course, to read this because it is a thriller, a domestic thriller and I'm just starting to get into this kind of stuff um, as well because uh, it's not the, the types of books that I normally read but I will give it a chance. Okay, I have good stuff here. That means I got new releases for a super good price. And this happens at Forbidden Planet. I got this book, Gideon. It looks amazing. Look at this cover. This cover is beautiful. Beautiful. It, it is like the, the back cover reminds me a lot of uh, Victoria Schwab books. They, some of them, they have this kind of organization and she actually, she's here. She's here saying, unlike anything I ever read. So this kind of promises and uh, this was two pounds at Forbidden Planet, it was a um, damaged book and they do this this thing where when they receive damaged books they often put them in a red box and put them for these super weird prices that you wouldn't even imagine of like you you are you're dying to buy a book and that book is like 18 20 pounds a hardcover and they have it sometimes for two pounds three pounds five six you go like, oh my god, that's completely fucked up. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. So what was wrong was because it has this this broken thing in the spine right here, and it's just a broken a broken end at the spine. It's nothing wrong really, and it's a signed edition as well. 
don't ask me what is this about I don't know I know it sounds good because of the cover he has and because of the reviews I was reading because that's what I do guys I read reviews <laughs> and I see if the book is of my interest but I don't read synopsis okay not often not often sometimes I do but in this case I just went with it uh, from from the reviews okay next again this was a mistake I believe because this book was for um, this is new it came out in 2019 but it, it is new and it's a, a, a gothic thriller like a horror story and that that's so of my interest man that's so cool to have uh, and this was this was so expensive and I bought it for two pounds ninety nine and I went to the 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 counter to pay it and the guy was oh that book is new wow like um what what's wrong why is it three pounds or two pounds and I was oh yeah I just picked it from the red box and he said oh it might be ruined or something and I was like um uh, it is not ruined, it's perfect, but still, I have it. I have it for this this amazing price and I will read it. Next, one that was actually damaged, here it is. It came out recently as well. Uh, this this is a really recent book and I love this cover. Uh, the, the girl is not, I don't know, I, I, there's something about this that is not perfect, but this snake is beautiful and in the back as well and what's wrong with this you can see here it is a cut like somebody when opening the box for example cut it by mistake and this this kind of things happen um, and I'm so happy they do <laughs> I'm so happy they do because it is um, an, a perfect book a, a fantasy book I don't know if it's young adult I don't know anything about it I, don't, I have no idea uh, and phew, I was happy to have it actually because uh, I've I've seen it lots of times and I I I found it for two pounds ninety nine and why not so yeah three art covers in a row <laughs> and now there's no more hard covers because I I've done that to myself I showed you the best stuff in the beginning I'm so dumb um well the final empire. This one has been recommended to me many, many times by friends, by you guys, and also YouTubers, like booktubers, like Reagan, especially Reagan from Peru's Project. She talks about this often, like loads of times, when she has uh, videos about the favorite books. It's this one is always there, and uh, I hope I like it. Because the hype is big and hype normally tends to ruin stuff for me. But in this case, it is a perfect, perfect, perfect book that I found for one pound. It, it only has this. I believe the person that read it read only this and just gave up. That's not a good, good sign. But it is still a new book that I'm happy to have. Next, a book that... I really loved this one. I, I've read The Tattooist of Auschwitz and man, I loved it. And I found this one, this is the second book and it follows Silke's journey. I don't need to, to say anything else. I believe it will be as good. And it, this is a proof copy uh, that I found uh, in, in, in one of my favorite shops. That is called Exchange Bookshop, where I go and exchange books and uh, sometimes sell them uh, and this one was two pounds something so pff, man this haul is really good in terms of prices I don't have any book here that I actually bought for a full price so I don't know uh, well sometimes I do but it's not often with this many really amazing shops that we have in London we tend to go to uh, charity shops and uh, second-hand bookshops but yeah this 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 looks good and it's an American edition which I love it's floppy as hell which is good another floppy one one that you will really like 
because most of you guys, you really like this one. <laughs> this is Vicious! Man, I haven't read this. I know, I, I, pff, kill me. I haven't read this book, I know, but I will, I will. And it is here now. I bought it for one pound. And it's such an amazing <laughs> edition, it's beautiful. Because actually the reason for me not to buy the book before was because I hate the British edition. Oh my god, guys. When England... England. When, when in the UK they make these editions that are so ugly that you cannot even pick them. Pff, that's annoying. Because this one is an American one. American edition and it's, it's really beautiful. I like it. Uh, yeah, tell me if I should read it. I know you will. Because you love that book. It's one of your favourite books. And this is the one that I get recommended more often. Uh, permanent record. Isn't this lovely? Isn't this really lovely? This cover is really nice. I've read the other book that she wrote that was called Emergency Contact. Yes! I, I've, I, I liked it. It was not like amazing. I bought it because of the cover. I'm sorry I did that. I don't know. I'm stupid. But I did that and I bought it and I, I, I gave it three stars. But I still bought this one. Uh, again for one pound. And... Um, completely worth it for one pound. If it's good, is it good? I don't know. I don't know, but I will try and read it and let you know what I think. Next. Susan Hill, I've read, uh, I think uh, this one is uh, Woman in Black. She wrote Woman in Black. I've read it. I loved it. It was one of my favorite books of 2019, which is crazy because so many people don't like it. I, I, I can imagine why some troops are the same as other horror stories. You see that so often in horror stories, like so many things that she wrote about, they happen often. But still, I got scared. I got all of those feelings that I was supposed to have. I heard the audiobook, which is amazing. The guy that is talking is really nice and I liked it and because of that, I've bought Dolly as well by Susan Hill. I enjoyed it. It was good. Not like amazing. And now I have this. It's called Black Sheep. And it's really small so I, I think I can tackle it really fast. So let's do. Let's see. Not let's do. Let's do. It's not the word. Uh, the Kind Worth Killing was a book recommended by a manga net. She is a oh, message okay she is a booktuber as well you you can check her out she's amazing i really like her really like her content and she loves thrillers so if you love, love thrillers probably it's a good channel to go and check it out so i bought it for 50p uh, definitely w worth the price at least if i don't like it i can just sell it again uh, it is not in in perfect condition but it, it is still readable and I'll, I'll, I'll dive into this soon. Last one. Last one was gave to me by Philippa Books. Philippa, she worked at a bookshop, a Waterstones bookshop, and that, that was amazing. Like, not just for her, but also for me, because I was always there. I was always there with her, <laughs> definitely, like, all the time. All day, oh my god. And uh, it was a good time and she had this perks of being working in a bookshop. They have this tea room or whatever where they have uh, also boxes with books. And this book was there and I asked if she could bring it to me please. And she did, thank you. <laughs> and I'm super excited to read this book. It is about uh, the a journey of some refugees, I don't know that much about it. I know it is kind of a, a, a drama and a, a book that will be important for me to read. Uh, in America they are talking about this a lot and it came out I think yesterday or the day before here in the UK. I'm not sure but oh actually it's written here somewhere. No, I don't know. I don't know when this came out 
it just says January of 2020 and yeah, yeah it has to be good okay hopefully it is uh, I'm happy to have this proof copy and yeah yes yeah, so this is super fun to do again I really love to do these videos tell me which books do you like from this selection I have and tell me if there's an any book that you think I should read straight away let me know I will be looking forward to it see you soon guys and see you in the next video bye